The disaster happened in stormy weather in the eastern Chinese city of Wenzhou on Saturday night. Four coaches of a high-speed train fell off a bridge after it rear-ended another train, which allegedly lost power and stalled after being struck by lightning. More than 1,600 passengers were on the two trains at that time. A girl aged two years and eight months was rescued on Sunday afternoon, about 21 hours after the crash happened. She is the last survivor that has been pulled out of the wreck. Now 132 people are still being treated in hospital, with 12 in critical condition. At a press conference on Sunday, China's Ministry of Railway spokesman Wang Yongping made a formal apology for the deadly accident. The crash has caused severe casualties and great property losses. We feel deeply sorry for that. The ministry will find out the cause through a thorough investigation and take effective measures to prevent similar accidents. The spokesman said three senior officials at the Shanghai Railway Bureau had been fired and would be subject to investigation. The damaged rails have been repaired and most of the grounded bullet trains resumed operation on Monday. In the wake of the accident, the ministry ordered an urgent overhaul of railway and train safety nationwide. Despite Saturday's accident, Wang said, the ministry is still confident in China's high-speed trains, saying they're advanced and qualified. He also acknowledged the challenges still lie ahead, as the high-speed rail service is only in operation for a short period of time. Wang said, the ministry sees safety as a top priority and will correct the mistakes and thoroughly analyze the safety system to eradicate potential risks.